Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Georgiana and everyone. Good morning, Good morning everybody. <laughs> Another Thursday with Georgiana. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> so good to see you guys. New yeah. place this week. New year. This is a lot of new stuff. But how are you guys doing? What's new with you guys? <laughs> well, that's a lot of celebration and... <laughs> Being, I mean, it, it feels great when you finally get to where you wanted to be. <laughs> yeah. After so much. <laughs> well, like, it's not perfect, but you're like, I don't care. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It must be feels so great to just, you know, be back home and you have your brand new house. And I mean... I know every time I moved, it felt like, you know, my, my entire life just changed and yeah. um, that it started all over again, right? <laughs> it's weird because it's like a new house, but it's also the old house. So sometimes I go to walk the way I normally walk. I'm like, wait, where'd this wall come from? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you after two years. I can't believe it. It's been two years. <laughs> Oh, guys. It wow. didn't go fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm sure. ever. It fast for me, not for you. <laughs> but so, I'm just glad. Glad to be in New Year 2021. We have our new words. We've got new inspiration and motivation. I hope you guys who are watching caught our video last week. It was also a short video because I was that was moving day last week. Gosh, it's been a week already, but <laughs> but we talked about our words for the year and you know what is inspiring us this year and what we're gonna use to carry through. And today we wanted to continue that conversation because you know we heard feedback from you guys um, that you were having trouble coming up with the word of the day or you know what does not a word of the day but like word of the year and um, how that it's supposed to continue through into the year. So um, we want to talk to you guys and share how we came up with our words. Um, do you want to go first, Millie, or should I? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep me talking. Um, yeah, so for me, I, I always try to do personal development. We talk a lot here about how important it is to do personal development. When you do those things, it motivates you. So last week, Millie and I were talking, and um, Millie and was sharing about how she and Carlos has a word of the year. And I was sharing about something that I heard last week that really inspired me and was the difference between inspiration and transformation. And um, I was just so like gobsmacked by the definition because when you think about it, we're always looking for things to inspire us, but inspiration alone isn't enough to actually get you to make a change. The change comes when you let that inspiration transform you. So I decided for myself, I wanted to go beyond just taking in stuff like, oh yeah, that's really inspiring. Or I, I'd love to hear what that person is saying, or I love to read what that person is writing about. And I really wanted to let it transform me. I want to be a better person. I want to learn and grow. And even like just being in a different place now, I want to transform my space. I want to transform my life. So for me this year, that's how a transformation became my word of the year. And um, Millie, how about you? How did you get come up with your word? <laughs> Well, I love that transformation is really impacting. I think that, you know, everybody needs transformation. But um, my word of the year was motivation because um, I feel like when you're motivating, you're moving, you're doing something, you are, um, you know, saying, um, you know, what it is that that you uh, have been wanting to do or want or want to do, and um, you know, like Tony Robbins says, uh, motion creates emotion. So <laughs> for me, motivation, um, if, if I'm feeling, when I'm feeling that word, it means that I'm, I'm working hard, I'm moving yeah. towards my goals, and I'm doing things to make that happen. I love it. Love it. I see Beth is sharing in the comments that her word for the year is accomplishment. So um, Beth's working on different, achieving different things, getting things accomplished, I guess. So share you guys, you know, how are you guys using your word to motivate you throughout the year? I've, for me, it's, I definitely have to write it down because I, I wrote it in my planner. You guys know I'm big on planners. It's in there, but I want to put it somewhere where I could see it because um, I think when you could see something daily, 
then it will it, it'll resonate with you stronger so that you can keep revisiting it. And I want to make sure that that I mean, I don't it's not for me that it's the word of the year isn't so much as a mantra, but it's just like a reminder to um, be intentional about what I'm doing. I love that. You? And, and you know, when you mention um, that you say by mistake, word of the day, instead of word of the year, um, you know, it's, it makes sense because, okay, so why make it a word of the year? Why won't, why won't we take our word of the year and just create daily words around mm -hmm. our, world of, our word of the year? Oh, that's inspiration inspiration right there so how's that what does that look like for you when you are you're doing your daily words well um i'm always going to be thinking motivation that's my word of the year but i think that motivation covers too many things so i started thinking how i'm going to keep uh, motivated into working towards my word of the year or towards my goals so I would like to every day think about a word that mm -hmm. is behind the uh, word of the year, the motivation. Mm -hmm. For example, I the other day I was thinking, okay, so I am I have a full day. I'm going prospecting, you know, I'm, I'm taking some books. So I look motivation. I'm motivated to do all these things. So my word of the year for that day was field day. <laughs> connections you know if you start thinking about things that you can do for that day that motivates you and things that you know will get you to you know stay focused because it's like weight loss like we start the year I'm like I'm gonna lose those 30 pounds <laughs> yeah. then it comes Monday Tuesday I tell you, by the end of the week, you're not thinking about 30 pounds. You're thinking about the chocolate cake and about, <laughs> about yeah. that that you're going to have with your family or your husband or your friends. So what do you think? I think that's true because um, one of the reasons that I came up with my agenda was because I realized and, you know, do my own life and research and hearing what other people are saying it it is so easy to get sidetracked when you have a goal you set it in january everyone does their new year's resolutions and it's a whole big deal and like you said sometimes even by the end of that week that new year's resolution is gone um but for most people the average person by the end of january february that new year's resolution is out the window so it becomes really important to um make sure that you're revisiting it daily so that it stays at the forefront of your mind like you you kind of have to start your day um, being intentional <laughs> about what your activities are going to be for the day, because if you don't, then the day kind of starts and it gets ahead of you. I've been finding that myself here. Like I kind of, I started actually getting up earlier to give myself myself time to get up and, you know, do some thinking, some reading, getting my mind in the right place before everybody else starts to bombard me. Because, you know, here construction is still going on. So the contractors are showing up 738. And if I'm not careful, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I we get up to let them in. But if we're not careful, then you get up and then the phone is ringing and then you're nonstop until eight o'clock. And if you're not concentrating, like for me, I try to lay out, okay, what is it that I want to do today? I may not be, you know, even in your personal life, most of my day now is unpacking boxes and sorting and organizing. But if I don't even, even with that, if I don't say, okay, I'm going to do three boxes today, or I'm going to tackle the boxes in the living room today, or I'm going to tackle my bookshelf today. If I don't set up what I plan to do for that day, then everybody else's stuff gets <laughs> comes up and gets in the way, or even stuff that I want to do for myself that, um, but it just isn't what I planned. So same thing with chocolate cake. If you don't say, okay, well today, this is what I'm going to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or, yeah. you know, for tomorrow, these are the things that I'm going to eat, then you'll just eat what's put in front of you. <laughs> it's the same thing in life. So I, I love that analogy because it makes it more real, you know? Yeah. And, you know, I have been like, um, as I, as I keep, you know, doing the trainings, the one-on-ones for my teams, I keep writing um, their words of the day. So mm -hmm. I want to share with you um, unstoppable, um, ambition, uh, transformation, 
uh, manifestation. I love that. Accomplishment and um, intention mm -hmm. and motivation. Yes. <laughs> so um, I think that, and I, and I have a few more uh, that I haven't added here, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, I like to hear what it is that everyone around me in what kind of page they yeah. are. Yeah. Because when I know I am able to follow up, um, you know, work on each other's ideas, motivate them, motivation, and- uh, And hold I, each other accountable. Yes, accountability. So yeah. thank you, absolutely. That's the kind of word I was looking for. <laughs> You definitely need that because even that too, you, um, if you can partner with other people and again, it's not enough. I think that what we're trying to emphasize today is that it's not enough to just pick a word. We're not here. We don't work for Webster. We're not just like, you know, okay, just pick a word and for the sake of a word, but we're trying to get you guys to really think about these words as, you know, what is it that you want to have happen in 2021? What are your goals? What do you want your life to look like at the end of 21? Like you again, intentional, you have to be intentional about what, um, what your year is like, it's, it, it, there are going to be wrenches thrown into your life and things are going to happen that you didn't plan. But even if you have that word, then you can take that and kind of wrap it around everything that you're doing. So we want you guys, when you're picking your words to really think about, like, think about your life, where you are and where you want to be, um, who is going to be affected by those um, words, the those changes in your life, your friends, your family, your coworkers, your career, um, your health and wellness, your mental health. You know, really think about coming out of 2020. It was such a rough year for so many of us. So much happened. You know, really kind of take the reins and say, okay, you know what? That was then. This is now. This is what I'm looking forward to. So don't just pick a word for the sake of us say because we told you to. <laughs> But really make sure that that word has meaning to you. Otherwise, like goals, if it's just a goal that you say, because Millie and Georgie said pick a goal, it's not going to resonate with you. But if it's a goal that really means something in your heart and mind, then it will carry through with you. So make sure that the words you pick, guys, have meaning to you. Like, Beth, what is it that you, what are the things that you want to accomplish this year? Um, I think at the end of the last year, we, Millie, you shared that list of things that you want to do the next year, the next 10 years. So, like, what is, what does, what do the words that you pick mean to you? I love that. And see, she came up to uh, with her word of the day, with her accomplishment, word of the year, um, visualization. And that, I think that goes together. You know, if yeah. you want to accomplish something, you, you want to be able to visualize how you're going to get there. Um, you know, I always talk about activities. So yeah. It's not like, okay, I'm my word of the year is motivation, but yeah, motivation. What am I, <laughs> what am I going to do today to work on that? <laughs> you know, um, and you know, my husband always tells me, he says like, um, you know, I, I, I'm sure. And, and it's this kind of um, sensitive to, to talk about, but I always, you know, I always mention my husband that mm -hmm. a lot of people's problem and depression, unless it's not a medical condition, has to do with being busy. Mm -hmm. So if you are, you know, consistently moving, I'm telling you, there's nowhere to think about the sad stuff. Um, a lot of people are really not depressed, but they say they're depressed because they feel bad. But in reality, if you change your mindset to say, okay, today I, I don't have anything to do or I can think of anything that I want to do, but instead I'm going to look at my word of the year. I'm going to say, okay, today, even though it's not a planned day, I'm going to just, um, you know, do one different thing than something that maybe you haven't thought about doing and you just say you're going to do it and you're going to do it now because your word is motivation. Your word is accomplishment. Your word is um, transformation. Um, you know, all of those wonderful words, words that are in, in, in the middle of the year, it just goes away. The motivation goes away. The um, enthusiasm for the new year goes away. So before, before we leave you all today, 
we would like to really, really connect with that word of the day, that word of, of the year, that word of the day. And I got you saying word of the day now. <laughs> I love it. You see how our conversations just come from <laughs> one. <laughs> so, it, and I think it, it goes perfect with, um, you know, just keeping your, you know, your, your vision alive throughout the whole year and not let anything get in your way. So, you know, we, we want to encourage you to really look into what we talked about last week and put this training together and continue your excitement throughout the year. We'll share many, many tips. Um, so what do you think, Georgiana? Yes, keep watching because we're going to keep continuing on this Um Throughout the year, we're always talking about motivation and inspiration, how we stay inspired, because we think that's for us through our experiences, we've seen that the biggest hurdle um, as entrepreneurs and people in business is your own mindset, mm -hmm. because you can always learn how to sell. You can always find customers. But the moment you stop believing that you can, then, you know, you never will. So keep checking in with us here live Thursday mornings. Join us. Join our conversation. And, you know chat with us, share your words for the year so we can hold you accountable and so that you can connect with each other and that you guys can learn and be inspired by each other. And um, we will be here Thursday, 1115 and chatting with you guys. Accountability. Yes, we hold each other accountable. You guys hold us accountable. Let us, you know, hold each other accountable too. <laughs> Have an amazing, amazing day, everyone. Thank you so much. And Georgiana, thank you. Thank you, Mama girls. Have an amazing day. Have Bye. a wonderful week, guys. Bye. <laughs>